Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today we are going to upgrade our 128GB SSD to 500. First thing I'm going to do is make a copy of my Windows license key. The reason why is I am going to do a fresh install of Windows and I want to have it just in case. If you have a lot of files on your computer, make sure to back them up, you know, take the necessary precautions. You know, you want to be cautious, especially with a a hard drive switch, an SSD switch in this case. So once we have our tools ready, you want to make sure you have a screwdriver, the new SSD, and the Windows 10 installation disk or bootable USB. So this is the screwdriver I'm going to be using. We got two screws. Next, we want to remove the rubber lining. Hopefully, I'm using the right term. Yeah, underneath uh, this rubber is another screw. And there's going to be three more screws underneath this rubber lining. Four screws total. Yeah, apologies for the background noise. Uh, you might hear some rustling. Just leaves out in the back. That's one. Two. So it is an M2.5 by 6. I just wanted to show that to everybody just in case. It's also labeled on the laptop. So let me speed up the video a little bit. This was a really fun project, and to be honest, I was not expecting an M.2 SSD on this laptop. I was actually expecting a regular 2.5 inch SSD. Um, it's because it was on Windows 10 S mode, so it kind of gave me. Um, I couldn't. I did not check the uh, specs completely on the hard drive and stuff. So shocker. But um, I had an, a spare that actually just came in. I was gonna use it for a different computer, but I figured I should just use it for this one. So, pretty interesting. A very fun project and everything turned out well. So yeah, one tip though, definitely. Uh, I highly recommend that if you have two of the plastic, uh, plastic triangle things to open up the laptop, it, it's really helpful. You know, um, I was be I'm being very careful in the video because it is a pretty new laptop. So also keep in mind that if you do open it up, we probably voided the warranty by then, so just a heads up. So you might you might want to be careful when you guys uh, if you guys are planning on running upgrades on this thing. I did order some RAM, by the way. So hopefully, um, once it arrives, I can upgrade this uh, computer. Yeah, the great thing about this 14-inch HP laptop is. Um, the body is similar to the other, uh, like the HP 14 stream, so it's pretty easy to open. Uh, you know, you just got to be careful, a lot of plastic. So now that we are in the laptop, I was actually expecting, like I said, a 2.5 inch SSD and it was empty, so I was like, uh oh. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, probably best to just upgrade the M.2 to a 500 gigabyte. 
Also, I'm going to put some benchmark results toward the end of the video. Um, because I wanted to explain that uh, you can't reach the max speeds on the box of this uh, SSD. So I'll explain that later. So this part I'm being very careful. So I just unscrewed the M.2 SSD and then it inclines to 30 degrees and then I just gently pull it out. There we go. Very interesting. Also, I highly recommend uh, before you buy an SSD, an M.2, check Crucial or check your specs. You want to make sure that your uh, M.2 SSD is going to be compatible with this. So here I am putting in the new one. It actually took me a couple of tries because the screw kept falling. So I was trying to find the best approach. And the best approach for me was just to kind of gently hold it down a little bit and then push the screwdriver in. It was the best thing I could think of. Yeah. It is tricky. Um, this is actually my first M.2 SSD installation. So a little bit uh, nervous there. All right, so it's a pretty simple uh, upgrade. And then I just try to close up the laptop again. Making sure that everything is pushed in. All right, and then I just, did, I just did a little bit of cleaning too. It is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, so. Yeah, after cleaning, we are going to install Windows 10 Home Edition. And then, yeah, pretty much it. Um, we're going to put back the screws and everything. Uh, if you do have an image, you could just load it. So it's, it was a really fun project. So let's see here. Just a quick cleaning. All right, putting back the screws. All right, so let's put back the rubber lining here. All right, so now it is time to install our Windows 10. So for this laptop, or I think most HPs, to get into the BIOS, you want to go into F10. You want to press F10 to go into the BIOS. If you're looking for system information and stuff like that, you can go F2. But in this case, I want to boot from the flash drive, so I went F10. And then as you can see there, uh, boot order, I went to, instead of OS Manager, I went with USB flash drive. So pretty interesting. Um, I, I'm so used to the Dell computers. So it's pretty nice to uh, use an HP for uh, a change. So we just got to make sure to save our settings. 
an exit and then it's going to give us our windows 10 installation so i'm just going to do an install now and then you could totally load your image or anything like that if you're loading an image so in my case it's a new ssd uh, it recognizes it as an allocated space so i create a new partition and then it automatically sets everything up for me there we go so i create created three partitions for me but uh, in your case it might be different and then I install Windows 10 and it is pretty much good to go. So I'm going to show you the benchmark results and a little bit of pricing too. So you're just familiar with the pricing. So the original, I looked it up. It was, it's worth 25 bucks on eBay, max of 550 and a uh, write speed of 520. So the new one, it's supposed to go up to uh, 2400, but um, as you can see in our benchmark results, it is still way faster than the original SSD and a lot more space, but we can't uh, we can't take advantage of the full potential because of the computer's limitations. But uh, still way faster than the original SSD though, so I'm pretty happy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.